The option to get vaccinated for nursing home staff may soon not be there. Good evening, I'm Ava Van Valen. And I'm Channing Frampton. The president announced he will be directing the Department of Health and Human Services to make new regulations to mandate this. ABC 27's Veronica Bernaccio joins us now. Veronica, if this new mandate goes through, facilities that don't comply will lose out on federal money? Yeah, Channing, that's right. And in Florida, that funding is essential because according to a new survey from the Florida Association of Healthcare, about 51% of revenue comes from Medicaid and then 30% comes from Medicare. And of course, with less funding, they're afraid that the shortage in staff will worsen. That is a major hammer to bring down. Governor Ron DeSantis is talking about the 1.3 million nursing home workers who may soon be required to be vaccinated. So the issue is going to be, what's that going to do to the staffing? According to Florida Health Care Association, 92% of Florida nursing centers face serious workforce shortages. Chief Executive Officer Emmett Reed released the following statement saying, quote, By the federal government slinging out nursing homes with a vaccination requirement that does not apply to health care personnel at other locations and in other health care sectors, we fear that our already critical workforce shortages will worsen. President Biden announced this order to help stop the spread of COVID-19. New data compiled by Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services show that about 60% of nursing home staff are vaccinated nationwide. Now that's lower than the 82% of residents. Harriet Sespico's mother is in one of these facilities and says she's happy to see new requirements that will ensure her mother stays healthy. The elderly, I believe, are more compromised due to just uh, their bodies getting older and not able to withstand certain illnesses. We've seen... Um, all age groups being affected um, and unfortunately dying. She says all the staff and residents where her mother is living in Trenton, Florida are vaccinated and she appreciates the sacrifices the staff have had to make to keep residents safe. Um, maybe being restricted on who they can see as well. I'm just, our family is grateful, very grateful that she is safe, that she is loved on, that she is happy. Now, this new mandate could take effect as early as next month, but that date hasn't been set yet. But for now, reporting live in Tallahassee, Veronica Bonaccio, NBC 27.